Hey guys, I thought I would do sort of another night routine type video with Keegan. So he's in his car seat right now and we just got back from a friend's house. They had like a New Year's party. So he was really good the whole time. So that was good. And he ate about an hour and a half ago. So I'll probably feed him in like an hour. So he's in the car seat right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get him out. But since it's like in the 20s, I have this fleece blanket with him. And then he's wearing this like fleece bodysuit type thing. You're not supposed to put babies in like really bulky clothing or like snowsuits while they're in the car seat. But I thought this one was okay to put in there. So he's wearing this. It's like a little bunny thing. It's so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and get him out. So I think I'm just going to change him right into his pajamas since it's pretty late and he actually played a lot at our friend's house so I'm, I don't think he needs to have his playtime. So now that I got him out of his little suit, I'm going to show you what he's wearing. I'm just going to set this down for a second. As you can see, he's wearing his cute little Kermit shirt that we got from Julie and her mom. It's so cute. And then he's also wearing the little jeans. They got him. They fit him pretty well. Um, in the back, they come up like a little short. Like, I can't pull them up any further than this just because, like, he has a lot of stuffing in his bottom. And then he's wearing these little green socks. And he was wearing shoes, but we took those off. So I'm going to go pick out his pajamas while he just hangs out here. And then I will show you me changing him. So Keegan is ready to be changed into his pajamas. I gave him his passy because he was getting oh, just a little bit fussy, so... Decided to give him that. Sometimes he'll take it if he's just being fussy. Sometimes he won't. It really depends on his mood, whether he wants to take a passy. He's definitely not a huge passy baby, but he will take it sometimes. So I'm just going to get his shirt off. One thing I've noticed about his vinyl I think it might just be the vinyl that is causing this, just because it's really soft. Um, it's just harder to get, like, clothes on and off of him. Maybe it's just because I'm used to having all my other Reborns I've had four years or more, so maybe their vinyl has just gotten smooth over time. But with him, it seems like his vinyl, like, it's harder to get clothes on and off of him, if that makes sense. Not like it's sticking, but it's, I guess it is kind of like it's sticking. It's kind of weird. So, I don't know if you guys have experienced that. I'm going to be changing him into this diaper that we got from Julie and her mom. It's really cute. And he is wet since, uh, I haven't changed him since we've been back, so. I'm gonna get him changed. He's wearing this diaper right now. It's really cute on him. We're just gonna this one off of him. Put his fresh one on. And this diaper is a size 3, so we're gonna see how this fits him. It looks pretty good, I mean, I feel like I've tried size 2 and 3, and the 3 definitely isn't too big, so I guess both sizes will have to fit them. Um, the 2 probably is, definitely comes up shorter, but the 3, like, isn't a huge difference. Like, I don't care if it comes up higher. And Claudia can wear, probably wear these too. So I'm going to put him in this Carter's 3-month sleeper. It just has little 
fire engines all over it. The back is just plain, but they're all like embroidered on the front, so it's pretty cool. So he's all set in his little jammies. Now I'm just gonna do his hair since it got kind of messed up from being in his little hood. So I'm really afraid that he's gonna lose hair. So I've been kind of paranoid about it. So I make sure to brush his hair like super gently just because I don't want anything to happen. <laughs> This is what I do for the top. I just kind of comb the two sides together. And this part on the front. And then the sides kind of come down. And it's usually the back that needs to be brushed just because when he's on his head, the hairs, especially like around here, tend to get kind of tangled up. So just have to make sure I wet them down and brush them out and then they are fine. So he is all changed for bed so I think now we're going to just hang out until it's time to give him his bottle. Keegan was really upset with me after we were just hanging out for a little while so I'm pretty sure he's hungry. It's still probably been two hours since he ate and he had six ounces so I'm only going to give him four just because I don't know how hungry he is, so I'm going to put this bib on him. It says All Star. It looks kind of small on him, but I think that it works. So we're going to take his passy out. And he's using this Playtex Vent Air bottle. So, it looks like he was hungry, so that's probably why he was so upset. Like I said before, he's usually a really good baby and pretty chill. But when he's hungry, he definitely gets a little bit fussy. So Keegan finished all of his bottle, as expected. He usually always drinks his bottle. Um, I don't know if he wants more. That's why I only just gave him four ounces. So, yeah. He's probably going to be hungry soon. So, I don't know. Because he usually drinks six ounces every two and a half to three hours. So I'll probably have to give him another four ounce bottle soon. But for now, I think he's good, so I'm just going to burp him one last time. And since we had such a busy day today, I feel like he's going to fall asleep right away, so... Okay, I think he is done with that. A lot of his stuff to put away, but right now I'm going to try to see if he wants to go to sleep. I have this blanket that I'm going to use tonight. It's Jimbery and it has embroidered fire engines on here and then it's just striped on the back. So I'm going to pick him up and put this down for him. And then I'm just going to kind of wrap him up. He doesn't really like to be swaddled. Um, I actually haven't really swaddled him that much since I've had him. But I just kind of like to loosely wrap him in his blanket. Keegan fell asleep right after I started rocking him. So he's just on his poppy right now sleeping. I did transition him to sleep. Not on my bed during the night since he doesn't wake up every two hours like a newborn anymore and sometimes he can make it between four and five hours during the night but it's usually about three hours but since he's not waking up as frequently um, we aren't co-sleeping anymore so I have him sleep in his car seat or 
his bouncer during the night now. But if he's like sick or something, or he's just been fussy throughout the day, I have him sleep with me. Just so I don't have to get up as many times. So he's sleeping right now. I have some stuff over here of his that I need to put away. And then I'm going to just kind of straighten up around the nursery. And then I'm going to finish getting ready for bed. And maybe by then he'll be ready for another bottle. We'll have to see. I'm going to go ahead and make him another 4 ounce bottle. Because... I have a feeling he'll be hungry once he wakes up, and I'm going to have to move him to his car seat anyway so he can go to bed. So he'll probably wake up during that process. I thought I would show the girls really quick like I did in my last video. So Carly is wearing this adorable little outfit that we got from Little X Loves, and she just has a hat and a pacifier and then the bib she has with the outfit and the socks. It's super cute on her. And you can actually turn this into a gown, but I prefer it this way, so I have it like that. So Kayla will wear this after she does. And then Claudia has this like knitted hat on that passy and then she's wearing this onesie. It's like a navy blue and it has owls on it. And then she's wearing these polka dot tights with these little boots. She looks super cute. And then Kayla is wearing this really cute little jimbery romper. It has little poodles on it. And then she has these socks on. They're really cute. So that's what she's wearing. So as you can see, Keegan is drinking another bottle right now. I just got done getting ready for bed and my room is right next to the bathroom, so I feel like I might have woken him up or something. And then when I walked in, he was crying, so he was very upset. I tried rocking him and stuff, and he just wasn't having it. And then I tried giving him his passy, and he didn't want that either. So usually he's pretty good about taking a passy when he's waiting on being fed, but I knew that he was really hungry since he wouldn't take that, so... Luckily, I had the bottle already made, so he's content now. It's just a four ounce Playtex one with a little under the sea type theme to it. So, yeah, I don't remember the last time he had his last bottle. Uh, probably like two hours ago, maybe less, so that's why I gave him another four ounce because I don't want to give him six ounce bottles every time because I don't want him to get too full and have to spit up and stuff. So depending on how long he sleeps after this, I'll either give him a four ounce or six ounce. Probably a six ounce because he's probably really tired. So I don't even know how long he slept for so not that long, so he'll probably sleep pretty well until his next feeding, so he'll probably have his <laughs> Have him with his passy. Sorry about the camera cord, but yeah, hopefully he will be off to sleep soon and I can put him in his bed. I've got Keegan's car seat right here, and he is sound asleep. I just rocked him for a little bit, and he fell right asleep. So I'm going to get his bed fixed up here. I'm going to pull on the straps a little bit so he doesn't have to sit on them as much. And then I'm just going to set his blanket down. I'm going to put him in. him his blankie so he has something to hold on to. Oh, there he is, sound asleep. He had a busy day today, so I know he'll probably sleep well tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of random, but I thought it would be fun. So yeah, if 
you guys want to see any other videos with Keegan, let me know. I don't really know what I can do videos on, so if you want anything, just leave some ideas down below. So, we will talk to you guys later. Bye.